six o'clock on a dot. Well, your boy hit it right on the head today. We live, baby. Where the hood at? Where y'all at? What up? It's your boy do it, Jack. You know, live streaming from the whip as always. I'm about to hit this damn mailbox. Y'all see my shit? Live streaming. Always from the whip. My non-driving ass damn near hit my own mailbox. Feel me just leaving the crib. Gotta go into work, man. Who this is? Who we got in here? Guillermo. Right here, bro. I'm here. What's good? L-E-B. You. You know, I always start off my live stream shouting out the hood, man. Everybody who just getting in. In a quarter mile. Turn Andrew, right what up? Heroin rat. Hey, what's good, bro? Going to the gym? Hey, that's what's up, bro. Go to that gym, man. Get your work in. Yeah, you can catch a few minutes of it, man. Hey, that's another thing, bro. Y'all need to hit that gym, bro. Hit that gym. Get your body right. As much as you possibly can. I don't know if y'all have noticed, bro. If you look at some of my older videos from, like, the Serto videos, you know, the drug test videos from the first... When I first started Take my next channel, right onto Arcado oh Road. shit, hold up. I got my damn GPS on, bro. I hope y'all couldn't hear that. Let me turn that off. Um, From the earlier videos to look at me now, bro, you will see that my body is, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a big difference because your boy been hitting that gym, getting his pump, put, getting this pump on. You feel me? So y'all boys stay in that gym. Who else we got in here, bro? Says, bro, you, you just discovered your channel. You've changed my life. Andrew Hesswood, hey, bro. I'm glad that I can help, man. Much love and respect to you, bro. Appreciate everybody, dog. Straight up. <laughs> hey, man, y'all like this video if you in this live. Like this video if you haven't done so already. Please subscribe. Hey, look, I just dropped the video. I'm doubling up out here in these streets, bro. You feel me? You know how your boy sometimes be going on his little hiatuses and shit, but, you know, your boy's making up for it, man. Dropping videos, bro, left and right, man. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for the content. But look, today, in this live stream, bro, I want to talk about do you have what it takes as a young homie to really be a leader? Thank you for your wisdom, bro. You helped me stop smoking. Mystic Music, that's what's up, bro. Yo, man, love to see you live so much. I love your content. Devin Lees. Devin Lee, you be in the, you be in the uh, lives a lot, bro. Respect to you, man. You one of the real ones, dog. I respect that. But yeah, bro, I wanted to talk about, do you have what it takes to really be a leader? And I think this is something that a lot of the younger homies don't really uh, pay attention to. It's something that you kind of gloss over as you're just moving through life. And as you get older, a lot of these things, they just become more meaningful to you. And, you know, you hear a lot of this talk about being, what is it, alpha male, beta male, and all of that shit like that, bruh. Listen, I don't necessarily, uh, you know, go into the whole, are you an alpha, are you a beta? I go into, are you respected or are you not respected? Because I think being a leader is more important than being an alpha. You feel me? Now, you might say being an alpha is being a leader, but there's also betas who are leaders as well. I'll give you an example, right? And now this is just my opinion. Barack Obama. I don't think Barack Obama is an A-type personality. You feel me? I, I thought Barack Obama was more of a a more recessive, you know what I'm saying? A, a more B-type personality. You feel me? But he was a fucking leader. You know what I'm saying? My boy said he went to a high school that focused on leadership. And look, you probably, you probably learned some things, bro, at that high school that you probably going to get nowhere else. You feel me? Because leadership is a trait that many people don't have. Now, here's another thing to really consider, bro. Uh, not just about being a leader per se. How many friends do you have? You know what I'm saying? Think about that. Like, how many people... Like want to be around with you or want to be a part of your team, want to be a part of your program. That's another, that's a trait of somebody who is a, a natural leader. Somebody who has a lot of friends, uh, a lot of people who are willing to support them, 
a lot of people who will back them up and defend them, that is signs of a leader, bro, because people naturally want to be around people who are, you know what I'm saying, able to control things, able to control their own destiny, all right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, also, being a leader has to do with making decisions. You got to be able to decisions and make decisions quick and don't regret and don't regret making the decision you have to feel that the decisions that you're making are going to be right for you at that time you feel me so leading has a lot to do with being assertive as well making those and that's another thing about making decisions if you're a decision maker and you're making decisions that means you're being assertive that means you're taking initiative you feel me listen every leader needs to have a degree of aggression like when it comes to pursuing things you have to have a degree of aggressive mentality bro where uh, i'm just you know what i'm saying you, you got to show them dog teeth them fangs a little bit sometimes you know what i'm saying you got to really be able to not give a fuck, bro about what a lot of people think about how you're doing things but part of being a leader is that you don't care about what other people think you feel me michael ogashi i hope i said that right yeah bro another live stream my boy guillermo what leadership role do you have in life right now uh i'm a film director and that is the leadership role you feel me and when you're a film director you have to lead the camera crew you have to lead the uh the the, the talent the actors the actresses you have to lead the makeup department. You damn near have to make sure that everything is running smooth. Do you feel me? Also, um, as far as when it comes time to really making decisions and producing these type of products, you have to be the one who's making the, the, the decisions uh, before anybody else. When it comes to putting up money, I'm gonna tell you another thing about being a leader. You really are a leader if you putting up your own bread for shit. You feel me? You got a music career. You a rapper, right? Y'all who watch this channel, y'all rappers. And a lot of rappers be complaining about they can't get studio time. Bro, they charge like $40 an hour at, a, at really good studios, my dude. Part of being a leader is investing in putting your own skin in the game. You feel me? Like this video, man. Like this video, ask your questions, bro. What do you think? You know what I'm saying? Let me know your input on what you think it takes to be a leader. Because there's too many of us who just kind of follow the pack, bro. And each and every one of y'all has the ability to lead, bro. And I truly believe that, dog. And every leader isn't born. You can be molded. You can be groomed into becoming a leader, becoming somebody who... And look, you could be a leader just, just in your own right. You feel me? You don't necessarily have to be a dude that everybody wants to be around. Not necessarily, bro. You could be a leader in your own field. That's why I say work on your craft, bro. Because once you get good at your craft, you can be a leader in that field that you chose to do. For example, right? Now, you know, I love to give examples. Uh, I'm going to go back to the music, right? Let's say you want to engineer music. You mix the tracks. You mix all the beats and everything. You know what I'm saying? Now, you might be the nicest one out of, you know what I'm saying, your crew of friends so that when it's time for them to mix tracks, they have to come to you because you nicer than them, you feel me? Or you become known like in your neighborhood, in your small little district or city or whatever, you feel me, where people want to come to you, that's a leader, you feel me? Now you're not necessarily out there with a damn microphone moving crowd of people, but you're still leading in your own right. You feel me? Diego Morales said, tend to, tend to rub people the wrong way sometimes, but I keep it real. Hey. Look, Diego, that's a good point, bro. And that's why I said earlier, part of being a leader is sometimes you can't really worry about what other people think, bro. Because sometimes you you got so much conviction when it comes to certain shit that it doesn't exactly, whatever, whatever people think about you, it doesn't move you away from your center. You feel me? So you're going to rub people the wrong way. I rub people the wrong way sometimes, bro. I'm going to tell you straight up. I... I I'll tell you straight up right now, right? I just had my film screening, right? I had a homie who he went in on this film screening with me. He gave me some money, you feel me? He gave me like probably about 33% of the funds. So when it got time for the film screening, when it actually came about, 
I had so much shit going on, right? I had to I had to make sure that the crew was wearing t-shirts. I had to make sure that the photographers were getting the type of pictures that I wanted. I had to make sure that the hosts had the proper information and shit, right? So he was kind of out of the loop. I didn't, I wasn't exactly able to be there and walk him through each step and everything, you feel me? Because he wanted to be just as a part of his organization as I was. He wanted to be like the man and everything. But with me doing so much, I just didn't have time to really sit there and tell him like, hey bro, look, I need you here and I need you to do this. Sometimes I'd be your own manager. And he got mad at me like, bro, it wasn't a team effort tonight. I'm like, damn right it wasn't a team effort. Where the fuck was you? You feel me? Like, how you gonna try to ball and you ain't even in the, on the bench? You can't even ball. You're not in the game. You ain't on the bench, bro. You're not even in the arena. You know what I'm saying? You show up late to your own screening because he had a movie that was screening in here in, 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 in the film event. You feel me? But when he got there, he was just mean. He was just like, or he was just there, but his presence wasn't felt. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So after the whole screening came at the end of the night, you know what I'm saying? We all, we going out for drinks and everything to celebrate. And bro, looking, he got the pouty face on. And we like, yo, what's wrong with him? It was like, well, shit, bro. He, you know what I'm saying? He, and then another thing is, he had his film. And after each film in our film event, the person who has a film gets up there to speak. So, bro didn't get up there to speak. You feel me? So he didn't even get to talk about his film. And he was mad at me. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I guess I was supposed to be holding his hand and directing him to everything. And I'm just like, bro. I got so much shit going on with me organizing this whole event. I can't babysit, bro. And that rubbed him the wrong way, bro. And back to your point, Diego, you gonna rub people the wrong way. You feel me? And you don't do it intentionally. The shit is not done intentionally. You feel me? You just might be so far ahead and uh, and so on your path and on your mission that you it's almost like you forget about the shit that's around you a lot of times. You feel me? boy said how do you motivate unmotivated people that you got a leadership role over employees homies family members that's that's a tough one uh Guillermo that's a tough one bro because it is hard to try to motivate somebody who just don't have it in them I got a motor bro I'm telling you I got a motor and I'm on go like I I really pride myself on a couple of things keeping my word and doing shit, completing objectives. You feel me? So if I got people around who are not on that same thing, what well, the only thing that I can say to do is try to find people who are closer to your level of motivation, bro. It's not gonna work when you're dealing with people who want to feed off of your energy. That's cool, you can inspire people only so far, only so much, those people, they can feed off your energy, but the energy that they get from you, they have to turn that around to fuel themselves as well to keep going. You feel me? So don't, if people not motivated, sometimes you got to leave them in the dust, bro. And that's just real, bro. My boy said, my boy said, you can't teach a pig to fly. He can't do it and he'll get annoyed. <laughs> I get what, I get what you're saying, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like they say, you can lead a horse to the water, but you can't make them drink. You feel me? You can, Like this right now, I can give y'all all the game in the world, bro. Listen, none of these Do It Jack videos that you watch will have any effect on you. I swear, they will have zero effect on you if you don't actually go and put in the shit that I'm saying. Do the action, bro. If you don't act, none of this that I say. You can listen to all these motivational speakers. You can listen to all the uh, the 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 philosophy, different type of self-help that you want, bruh, but it doesn't mean nothing, bruh, if you don't put in the work, you feel me? I'm gonna tell you right now, for the longest time, I was reading books a lot, and it was like I was comfortable with getting the information, but I wasn't putting in the work, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't following up with the action from the information. I used to read books on stock market and stuff like that, but it wasn't, I didn't find that the stock market, I didn't really learn how to do it until I actually did it, right? For example, right? I'm not a dude who can sit in a classroom and listen and learn. I I have to touch things. You feel me? I'm one of those type of guys where I have to physically do something. You can watch a video of Steph Curry shooting threes all day, bro. But until you get your ass with a basketball in your hands and go to the court and practice that shit, you're not gonna be good at shooting threes. How you gonna score if you're not practicing, bro? 
See, a lot of homies watch these videos, they say, oh, thank you, do it, Jack. You know, that's cool. You, you speak so much good stuff. Yeah, the shit might sound like good gospel, bro. You know, I am spitting this sermon. But at the end of the day, bro, when you leave church, my nigga, you got to go over there and correct the shit, correct the mistakes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm a tactile learner. Yes. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> I can't, like, listen, bro, it's funny. You can literally show me how to do something. And I'm sitting there looking. I'm like, yeah, okay, I got that part. I got that. Okay, I understand the steps. Yep, I got that. And then you say, okay, here's your turn. You know what I'm saying? And, and now it's time for me to replicate what you just showed me. I won't be able to do it because I haven't did it already, even though I understood exactly what you did. I need to do it maybe two to three times, and boom, I'm going to catch on to it. My boy said, I have a motivational issue. He says he smokes weed. I take psychiatric meds. God damn, bro. Uh, that caused motivational issues. I motivated myself to skate six hours yesterday. Okay, that's what's up, bro. That's what's up. I mean, I, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not big on medicine. I don't particularly like to take pills or nothing like that because I know that they do have side effects that can mess with your, your motivation and stuff like that. So... But that's what's up, bro. If you did six hours and you still on the meds, that's good shit, bro. Change your brain, change your life. That's right, bro. Change your brain. You gotta change, you gotta change your mentality, bro. Motivation is nothing but is all is, is all brain power. It's motivation and actually doing the shit is brain power plus willpower. You feel me? Like today, bro. Um, I was supposed to hit the gym. Or was it, was it yesterday where I, I was like, man, fuck it, I'm not going to the gym. Like, I just don't feel like it. But I went to the gym anyways, you feel me? Whether I had the, the best workout that I could have, it's, it's about willpower. And you know, a lot of times it's, even when you don't feel like doing something, you gotta do it anyway. That's what discipline is, right? Discipline is doing things you know need to be done regardless about how you feel about doing it. You feel me? I don't fucking feel like going to work, but I know I need bread, so I can't call out. I don't feel like doing my homework. I don't want to study. This shit is whack. But I know that if I want to get this degree, you know what I'm saying, in business management or whatever it is, I know I'm going to have to put in that work. Some of y'all play sports, bro. You feel me? We probably got some hoop players out here. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all watch NBA games who play sports. Watching NBA games, you can you can learn some shit. You can pick up ideas, bro. But you got to get on the court and dribble that damn ball. You know what I'm saying? And try those moves that you see, or it's not gonna work, bro. Now, listen. Some of y'all might be able to learn just based off of watching. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all might be able to do. My boy Jacob said you're clearly very anti-smoking. It would be interesting to hear your opinion on the legalization of weed. Okay, uh, Jacob2002, I don't know if you're new to the channel, but I am not anti-smoking. I say it all the time, I am not against anybody who smokes. I'm against the motivation, the lack thereof, of people who smoke. So if you are able to smoke and you can still handle business, you hear me say it all the time, keep smoking your gas. But I am not a person who be like, man, y'all smoke, y'all shit is whack. No, 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 it's not that, bro. You feel me? It's not that. If you can consistently, you feel me, get shit done and the shit is not a burden to you, you feel me, and it don't fuck your pockets up, it don't mess your hustle up, go ahead, bro, smoke your gas, bro, do what you do your thing. You know what I'm saying? I always give my reasons for why I stop smoking. You feel me? And part of, and listen, I've become a better leader now that I've stopped smoking because I'm just not as lazy anymore, bro. My boy said, I hit rock bottom not too long ago, but I'm good now. Motivation and, dis and motivation and discipline isn't the way to live a good life. If you want, if you want to live a good life, do what makes you happy. Okay, I'm kind of confused about that statement. He says, motivation and discipline isn't the way to live a good life. If you want to live a good life, just do what makes you happy. All right, well, I don't know about that, bro, because part of the discipline is doing what you know that you know you know it needs to be done right you feel me so 
living a good life, how are you gonna live a good life if you don't have the tools necessary to live that good life? Like you haven't put in, you feel me, any of the good work, any of the groundwork. So for example, right? Stay in discipline, I'll give you an example. Investing, right? I know that if I start investing at the age of 25, if I invest $100 a month for 40 years at about, uh, let's say, 7 to 10% uh, return on my, uh, on my money in the stock market, that I know when I get older, I'm going to be able to live that good life. But I'm not going to be able to because, you know what I'm saying, that, that money is going to be compounded interest, right? And I could be somewhere up upwards of about maybe three, four hundred thousand dollars, you know what I'm saying, just saved up based off of investing. But if I don't if I don't have the discipline to do that, then when it comes later, you know what I'm saying, I'm not gonna be able to live the life that I want to. Big boss, what up, bro? Big boss sensei, ways to get a stronger mental mind. Uh let's see here. Challenges, bro. <clears throat> Challenges putting yourself through stress but good stress good stress that will make you mentally stronger right every time i make a damn movie bro pre-production i'm stressed out it's a challenge but every time i complete it you know what i'm saying mental toughness also comes from achievement achievement bro like when you're going through a rough patch and you get through it and you all right you feel me you know what I'm saying? That would make you mentally tougher. Like I said, y'all heard me say this before. I used to box. I was a boxer. You know what I'm saying? Amateur and never fought pro. I was an amateur boxer. And I was one of the bigger dudes in the gym. I, I fought heavyweight. So in amateur boxing, there's heavyweight, then there's super heavyweight, right? So I fought heavyweight. And in my gym, the only dude that I, I could really spar with was a pro dude who had multiple fights, who've been fighting for like 10 plus years. You feel me? And I'm I'm green, bro. I'm 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 brand new in there. You feel me? And I used to be uh being a hundred, I was kind of scared to hop in the ring with him because he was a crazy looking mug, you know what I'm saying? And uh I hopped in the ring with him and I was trading shots with him and I held my own. I didn't win. You know what I'm saying? I got touched up. But that challenge, once I once I got through it, I was already it was like uh, it was like an instant boost of confidence. I'm now more mentally tougher because I just seen what I can take and I know that I can survive it. King Chris, and I'm always skipping your comment. My bad, bro. Come here, G. Let me let me scroll up. Let me scroll. Alright, I see. It says the best way to cultivate discipline is by practicing doing the things you don't want to do on the days you don't want to do them. That's right, bro. King Chris, that's that's real. That's what it's about. Doing things that you know need to be done regardless about how you feel about doing it. You feel me? That's all it is, man. Everybody had to have that trait, bro, in order to really be a good leader. My boy Ben said, what up, Jack? I'm 17. Shout out to you, bro. Shout out to the young homies. He said he's from Ireland, okay? He's going into his final year of high school, and your videos have been putting me in the mindset that I need to be properly to get my shit together. Respect, bro. Hey, respect to you, dog. Respect to you, man. You 17 and you you getting up on game. Because, see, you probably ain't got no homies around who can really spit this shit like I can. You feel me? Or just, just in general, bro. So that's what's up, bro. Shout out to you. My boy LaFlair said, I'm not getting notifications for your channel. What's going on, bro? I don't know, bro. I slick be feeling like you two hating on a kid, bro. Like, I don't know, bro. A lot of people have said that. They have their notification on, but then when I drop shit, you know, they don't they don't know about it. So I can't really explain that, bro. I don't know, man. Maybe, I don't know, dog. My boy Aaron said, what's up, my boy Do It Jack? Just came to say that I love the word. Where you at? Uh, you always spitting. You always real helpful to hear from a wise guy like you because I don't hear from anyone else. Thanks, bro. Hey, respect to you, Aaron. Respect, bro. I appreciate that. I got a girl. Let me say, I got a girl. Then my train ran out of steam. I'm not as on fire as I was a year ago with my hustle. These damn girls are distraction. Yes, they are, bro. Yo, Jack, I'm a photographer, and you really got me back grinding. Hey, respect, bro. Respect. I'm glad that I can help you, bro. Photography? Listen, 
And that's another thing. I'm gonna tell you right now, bro. In order for you to have a creative field, be be in a creative career like a photographer or or like a film director, or something like us. If you don't have a grind, bro, you are literally going nowhere. See, a lot of that's why it's easier to just get a normal job because you don't necessarily need a job. I mean, uh, need a grind when you have a job because you're gonna move forward because just by showing up, just doing the bare minimum, you're gonna get paid, you're gonna get money. But for somebody who's like a hustler, who got a grind, who got a craft and they're trying to make money without doing the traditional, you know what I'm saying, job, whatever, you got a grind, bro. And I'm telling you, grinding makes you a better person. There is nothing about grinding that can hurt you, bro. I mean, let me know if it, let me know if I'm wrong. If, if you can think of something that, you know what I'm saying, where grinding can negative, negatively affect you, let me know, bro. Yes, I do. I, I do to a degree. But let me speak of manifest things into your life by having a certain mindset, thinking certain things. I made a video on this channel earlier and I said that having the right mindset is not enough. You can't just have, you can't just wake up in the morning and say, shit bro, like I'm that dude and I'm gonna grind, I'm gonna get money. You can't just say that, you have to back it up action. So what really attracts things into your life is the mindset plus action, you feel me? So just simply uh, believing that something will happen is one thing. And yes, you need to be in that right mindset. You feel me? But you also have to put in that action to really make the shit happen that you need to happen, bro. Yeah, man. It's a combination. That's right, Mystic Music. It's a combination. And look, anything that you really put your mind to, if you focus that energy towards accomplishing and achieving a goal, you will, you know what I'm saying, get closer to success. Not necessarily saying that you're gonna get it the way that you envision getting it, but slow and steady over time wins the race, bro. You feel me? Now, if you grinding hard over time, you can get there faster, you know what I'm saying? But don't rush it, bro, be patient. That's, that's, that's one of my problems is, because I grind so hard, I feel like I should be making much more progress. But sometimes it don't work like that. And you just have to remain patient, bro. And don't don't get upset about it, bro. You feel me? And look, all of this that I'm saying, it can all go back to the topic that I originally said. Is, you know what I'm saying, about the traits of a leader. You feel me? Patience. You need to have patience. I'm going to tell you another thing. You want to be a good leader? You need to have a nice, you need to have some wordplay, bro. Be able to use your words and be able to articulate and communicate ideas effectively, bro. Don't underestimate the power of the tongue. Straight up. You gotta be able to really spit at people and get them to see things from your perspective. You feel what I'm saying? If you somebody who, who kinda one of these mush mouth talking ass dudes, oh, yeah, oh, you feel me? Like, nobody really it's gonna be hard for you to really get your point across in the manner that you need to get it across, bro. That's why I say reading books is very effective, dog. Reading books is very effective, man. Just building up your vocabulary and learning how to articulate is extremely important. How can I get my talk game stronger? Yeah, read books, bro. Read books, bro. Look, a lot of folks, listen, You got, of course you got to have time to read books, right? He says, what are your favorite books? I'm going to get in that in a second. You got to have time to read books. And the shit can be boring, but you have to read shit that is, number one, entertaining and also uh, beneficial to your, 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 your noggin and your brain, you feel me? Now, some of my favorite books... Shit, man, I've read, I read a lot of How to Win Friends and Influence People. That's a great fucking book, you feel me? I've read, uh, shit. I've read a lot of, like, uh, a lot of black history books, you know what I'm saying? Things like that. So stock market books. There's a book called One Up on Wall Street by Peter Lynch, which is a phenomenal stock marketing book because it's not just a whole bunch of facts that's going to bore you. He's telling you stories about how he came up. I love to hear stories about how dudes came up. You feel me? Dale Carnegie, yeah, he's the dude, bro. My boy said, most people don't love themselves. It's sad. He not lying. You're for real. 
Yeah, at least read a book, bro. I'm going to tell you, dog. It would do wonders. And listen, reading books and traveling, right? If you can read books, if you can travel, you will instantly become a more interesting person. Because you have more to talk about, right? You feel me? Let's say you're an expert in something. You know what I'm saying? Let's say you're really into cars or some shit. But when it comes to having a conversation about cars, you can you can talk that language. You, I can't talk that language. I don't know shit about cars like that. But when you when you have that expert or or, or you know say high level knowledge, you can talk that language with people. You feel me? When you travel, you know what I'm saying. Don't know, listen. People want to know where you've been. What have you done? What is your experience, bro? That's why you gotta travel, dog. And a lot of young homies, listen. And this is my fault because I I didn't leave the country for the first time as an adult until I was 26, bro. Think about all that time that you missing out, bro, 26 years old. Now, most people don't leave the country at all. A lot of people don't leave the country, but you feel me? Y'all go back and watch my vlog when I went to Costa Rica, bro. And just the player shit that I was doing. If you're going to go on vacation, man, do some player shit experience, bro. That's what it's about. So you don't want to become interesting for no reason, though. You gotta have a reason for wanting to be interesting. I don't I don't know what that means, bro. My boy says, yeah, success without happiness is the ultimate failure. <clears throat> well, I don't know. You feel know I me? Mean? A lot of people say money can't buy happiness. Shit, I would like to find out. <laughs> you feel me? Like, shit, put that money in my pocket and let, let me find out. Don't tell me, goddamn. Money can't buy happiness. I want to find out. My boy John Coven, what it do? Yo, bro, I rock with your videos heavy. What are your religious, spiritual beliefs, if you don't mind sharing? All right, so not something that I always talk about, but I grew up Christian, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't consider myself to be a Christian right now. I'm not an atheist. I do believe in God, but I don't necessarily ascribe to a traditional, you know what I'm saying, uh, religious dogma. You feel me? So... Um, I think I would say more spiritual as opposed to religious. My boy Primetime, I feel like having my own business would allow me to pass it to my kids. There you go, bro. Legacy building. You want to be a leader? Build a fucking legacy, bro. My goddamn battery low and shit. Let me plug this up. That's another thing. Of, uh, that's another aspect about being a leader, bro, is... How will you be remembered? What imprint did you leave on earth? You feel me? Like, what can people go back to and say, okay, this was Pops or this was so-and-so, you know what I'm saying? You want to leave something with people, bro, whether it's a business, whether it's money, whether it's some knowledge, whether it's, you know what I mean, resources, whatever it is, bro, whether it's work that you've done that you, you know what I'm saying, that other people can be proud of. That's why I love filmmaking. I make a movie and put it on YouTube, this shit gonna be around for a very long time and people could see, and I can also see how I grow in my own art. <clears throat> you feel me? So, that's important, bro. Legacy building is very important, bro. We, more of us as younger homies, we gotta really have that mindset to really build legacies, bro. And look, when I was 18, 19, I didn't think about none of this shit. When they say life sucks, bro, as you get older, like, I mean, the real world is hard. It's true, bro, because <clears throat> you don't really have to have all those responsibilities. They don't hit you until you actually out on your own. You feel me? So if y'all can, if, if, if some of the younger homies, I don't know, what's the oldest person in this live stream? I don't know. Somebody put their age down. You feel me? Help me out, bro. If you over 25, Press one or some shit. My boy 21. 21. Alright, cool. So yeah, 20. There you go, Chris 20. Alright, my boy Kabian. What is that? Kevalon? I hope I said that right. 25. Okay. My boy 16. So look, it's, it's a few of us in here that is over 25. And I think they'll say the same thing, bro. Like it becomes much more serious. Everything becomes more serious after 25. 
your interactions with females are much more serious after 25, you feel me? Typically, typically. The, your money situation becomes more serious. You know what I'm saying? The type of work that you're doing becomes more serious. I'm gonna tell you something that's very fulfilling in life, bro, is doing the work that you love to do and making the money that you wanna have and getting the chicks that you want to get, bro. You want a short, a surefire way to happiness? There, that's how you can do it, bro. And have a family, and if that's what you want to do, have a family, whatever. If you can have uh, uh, the job you want, the money you want, you feel me, and the relationships you want, you're pretty much gonna be a happy dude. Kelly, respect, bro. I don't know if you're a girl, but respect. What's a good age to move out, Jacob? Two thousand two. Hey, listen, bro. I never go by age, bro. See, back in the day, there was once upon a time where you turned 18 years old and mugs expected you to move out. The shit is different today, bro. Our situation is way more different than moms and grandpa and all them. They used to move out at 18 and 21. Now, it's a lot of us who still do move out at 21. But we ain't really, like, we ain't really, uh, like, prospering, though, you feel me? I don't understand why a lot of people will move out at the age of 21 and you got $400 in your bank account. Like, I, I, it just doesn't make sense to me, bro. I always throw that number out there. Y'all know the number, bro. Go ahead and comment the number. I ain't even gonna say it. Y'all know the number I always say if you wanna move out, bro. Don't go for age, go for your money, bro. He says, do you think gaining leadership, Devin Lee said, do you think gaining leadership skills helps you gain confidence? Of course it does, bro. Of course it does. In order to be a leader, you have to have a degree of confidence. You know what I'm saying? You can't be a you can't be a leader with no confidence. You feel me? That 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 must that must be there. My boy Alex, 19 on purpose, investing. Okay, ten thousand. There you go, Devin Lee's. That's that number. <laughs> That's that number. And 10,000 ain't hard to get to, dog. It's not hard to get to. And look, I always say this. Once you get to $10,000, you're going to be like, bro, this is this still ain't no money. I want to touch 15. And then when you get to 15, you're going to say, I want 20. It works just like that, bro. It, every, every, every objective you reach should push you to the next one. My boy, what is that? Slatty slat, my nigga. Kind of all right. What advice for an 18 year old with 8,000 and just graduated? He's not going to college. If you got 8,000 in the bank, bro, I would say if you 18 and you got 8,000 in the bank, I say go for 15. Don't move out with 8,000 in the bank. Go for 15. Cause shit, grind for another three years. Move out at 21, 22. If you got 18 right now, I mean, I mean, if you got 8,000, that's a good number, bro. You, you doing numbers, bro. Keep that shit up, straight up. Learn to trade. There you go. You want to save up for a car and buy it without a note. That's that's exactly what I did. This car I'm driving now, I pay eight thousand dollars for. It's a uh, it's a Honda. It's a 2010. I paid straight out, no car note. That's 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 another good uh, strategy for keeping your finances together, you feel me? Try to limit your your bills as much as you can. You know what I'm saying? Try to live below live below your means for, you know, delay gratification as much as you can. My boy said, "What are your thoughts on joining the Air Force and becoming a combat medic?" Um, listen, the military, it could really put you in a position to where, you know, it could set you up, you know what I'm saying, to have a pretty good life. Uh, I got a homie, my little brother, you feel me? Uh, he's, he's in the, I think he's in the Air Force or something like that. This mug is like in Japan right now, you feel me? And, uh, shit, he doing, he doing good for himself. Now... You, there's a couple of benefits for going to the military. You get to travel, you know what I'm saying? And you know you get to do different things. So it just depends, it just depends, bro. I'm, I was, I, I never, 
told people that you should go to the military because I always felt that you could really get your grind on in your city where you at because a lot of people who go to the military don't necessarily want to leave their whole life behind. But it just depends on what you about, bro. It really just depends, man. What is this, Tai says? I don't know how that shit said. I think that's your name. What's up? What up? Hey, shout out to everybody. Hey, like, like, hit that like button, bro. Hit that like button. Bro, I don't want to cut my dreads. Ah. <laughs> hey, get them likes up, man. What the hell y'all doing, man? Go ahead, get them likes up, man, for your boy. There you go. Yeah. Get them likes up, bro. Hey, listen, man. Any book that you, oh, oh my goodness, how can I forget this book? There's a book called The Art of Leadership. Bruh, probably probably about top five, top 10 books that I've read. I think the guy's name is Oba Tashaka. I think that's the name, it, you know what I'm saying? It had about, it was about like a lot of um, black leaders and their leadership traits and stuff like that. Now you might not be black, doesn't fucking matter. If you read this book, when you get done with it, you're gonna be like, damn. You feel me? Like, that's how hard it hits, bro. That's how hard it hits. Hey, everybody, look. Uh, I know I keep talking about my damn Patreon. Still ain't had time to do it. I'm going to set up a Patreon, man. I need y'all to fuck with it, bro. I need y'all to fuck with it. Also, I just dropped another video today, probably about two hours ago. And I kind of talk a little bit more about my journey to quit smoking again. So go check that out if you haven't done so already, man. Straight up. What's the name of that book? It's The Art of Leadership. The Art of Leadership. That's a hell of a book, bro, I promise you. Would you say you're an extrovert or an introvert? Um, I've never really considered that. I, I would probably say more extroverted <clears throat> just because you know, I like, I like to talk and I like to do shit, but I can be introverted at times. So sometimes, right, let's say I'm in a room with 50 people and I don't know nobody. I'm the type of dude where I kind of have to, I kind of have to scan the room a little bit first before I just come out and just start chopping it up. I kind of have to see people's, you know what I'm saying, they actions a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So I would lean more towards extroverting, extrovert. Uh, but I do have, you know what I'm saying, some traits of an introvert as well. So checked out that video already, brother. Mo love, what up? Hey, my boy Mo Love be hitting me up in the DMs asking all kinds of questions. Hey, look, y'all can hit me up in the DMs and ask questions, bro. There ain't nothing wrong with that, dog. You feel me? You can hit me up and ask whatever questions y'all want, dog. Yeah. Straight up. So y'all got to follow the kid on Instagram at What's Your Hustle One, bro. You feel me? Just just support your boy. You know what I'm saying? And and look, if you got things going on, let me know, bro. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna have to do, bro. For all the for all the homies who really got hustles and grinds, y'all gonna have to DM me some of y'all hustles and grinds. And on the live stream, I'm gonna have to come on here and shout y'all out if it's legit. I ain't gonna be shouting out no bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all out here got them doing pranks and shit on people. You feel me? Oh, uh, 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 some goofy shit. If you really got a legit hustle, bro, and you got a, a legit craft, a skill, DM me, and probably by the next live stream, bro, I'm gonna have to shout y'all out. Straight up. Reiner Braun, I code while smoking gas. Fits with my lifestyle. Hey, Reiner, hey, listen, bro, nothing is wrong with that, bro. Now, look, you see what my boy said? He said he, he's coding while he's smoking. Like, maybe the smoking is helping him to figure that shit out. Hey. Do that, you feel me? If that's gonna help you, you still rocking with Robin Hood? Yeah, I'm still with Robin Hood, bro. I'm still on Robin Hood, bro. Still fucking with Robin Hood. Peace, brother. What's that awful Barty? What a good, what a do, bro. Yeah, I'm still rocking with Robin Hood, man. Uh, Robin Hood, I'm gonna tell you my investment apps that I use Robin Hood and Vanguard. So, a lot of people want to know what. What exactly do I invest in with the Vanguard account? It's something called a Vanguard 500 index. And you only need about $3,000 to even get in. You feel me? So get you $3,000, then you can start dumping in money. They got one for $3,000, then there's another option for like $10,000.
So go if you if you got the ten thousand, go for the ten thousand dollar one. I'm a risk taker. I invest based off of risk. I don't give a fuck about losing five hundred dollars because I know I'm gonna get this shit right back. You feel me? I take risks. Does Robinhood really bring revenue over time? All right, prime time. I'm not sure if you understand. Uh, I don't. I don't think you understand. Revenue is not exactly the correct word. Uh, you. I guess you're saying, will your, will your um, portfolio appreciate in value? Yes. <laughs> yes. Listen, bro, my first year investing, I, I, I told you, I made 16%. I beat the market my first year investing. I ain't no shit about no damn stock market. Any advice on gambling addiction? Uh, shit, that shit can be addictive. I know that. Find something else to do, bro. You know what I'm saying? If, if, if it's fucking with you, just try to find something else to do that's more constructive. Yeah, your stocks will rise and you will make money. Now listen, just because your 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 stock will appreciate in value doesn't mean you should cash out. You feel me? Don't. And just because your stock fall doesn't mean you should sell. You gotta have thick skin when you're in the stock market, bro. Because there's been days where, you know what I'm saying, I'll be up like $600 in one day. Swear, be up $600. And I'll be like, oh shit, this shit popping. I got them log in the next day. I'm down about six, seven hundred dollars. I lost everything that I just gained. Cause I, like I said, I take risks, man. So just be mindful of that. But look, bro, your boy is out, man. I'm glad I had a chance to kick it with y'all, bro. Get in my DMs, man. Follow me on Instagram. Like this channel, bro, or uh, subscribe to this channel, man. Go back and watch all them videos that I've been posting this week, man, if you haven't done so already. If you haven't seen any of my short film work, right, I can't be sitting here talking about how I do all this film work and I don't have it to show. I am a man. Go back and watch that if you haven't done so and leave a comment. There's a movie called Eva on this channel. Go back and watch that. I got a bunch of other short films that I'm probably going to be dropping soon. I'm working on a short film right now called Ruby's Promise. I got another short film coming after that. So... I'm going to short film my way until I get to my feature, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Respect, man. Much love to all y'all, bruh. It's your boy, Do It Jack. And I'm out, man. Straight up.